And we're live. Um, hey guys, I'm Top Dirt from Lax Forever, and today we're going to be doing a stream, um, reviewing our um, epic hawks and comparing them to a few other heads. Joining me is Tate from Mile High Mesh. Hello, everyone. Hope, hope you guys like this. We probably won't have very many people watching right now, but just pa pass the news around so everyone can see our reviews on it. And especially Epic. But, oh, oh, my bad. Um, so in case you guys miss it live, this um, is being recorded, and as soon as we're done, it will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Um, so if you miss it, don't worry. Um, you can see it whenever you want. You want to start, or me? I don't care. Um, I guess I can start. I already um, uploaded a video uh, with my full thoughts on the Epic Hawk and um, what I like and don't like about it and um, what I think they did correctly. Um, but as a quick overview, it is a X-Spec head, um, three and a half inch in the throat, six and a half up top, um, legal for all levels of play. I strung this head up with um, shrinking one X-Mesh with a mid to mid-high pocket um, with a very nice channel. In my opinion, this is the only pocket you can string in a hop um, because of the fact that um, Epic did listen to us. I remember about two years ago that they put out a survey asking what um, across players wanted in their heads and what kind of heads they use, what the dream head would be, and um, what their gamer is. And most people use a mid high pocket or a mid pocket um, or high pocket. Um, so Epic listened to us, and what they did is they literally designed their head from the mold up um, to play into a mid high mid pocket by um, making the lower section of the head the thinnest and the thickest being um, in that mid high sweet spot. Um, so when you string up a head, the pocket's going to sit perfectly right in that um, mid-high place. And one thing I commented on, um, with that pocket placement, with that um, the, the design of the sidewall, and it's laid back um, offset, it um, balances very well in your head, so when you're holding it, in your hand, so when you're holding it, um, the head feels extremely well balanced, um, and I compared it to a gate torque in that manner. Uh, yeah. I, was, I, I really like the head. I think... When I first saw it, I was like, I don't know. This head doesn't seem one of the heads that are going to sell. But after I just strung it up and everything, it turned out amazing. And this is actually a head I would recommend for anyone. Like, it, Well, if you like high pockets. Like, I strung this with the otter mesh that came with. Turned out pretty good. Also did a dye. Can't really tell. But it's like a blue, red. And I think it was actually really easy to string. Like, it, this was just my first time, um, and it turned out really good. I, I actually like how the, there's pretty much no offset to it until about right here in the head, just because your pocket's going to be sitting right there, and so then um, your pocket should get more depth from that and also from where like the sidewalls right here in the sidewalls where the pocket's supposed to go for the high pocket should give you more depth like I only did uh, one SI and it's really close to being illegal but it's actually like perfect I, also the the flex on this is really nice like I really like it um, it's a little higher of a flex, like the flex is a little high up. I don't know how to show this, but if you guys can look, and like it actually turns out it pinches really good. But I think it's actually a really good head, and I would recommend this for a lot of people. One second, you have a ball, and also this head, I think, just from how it sits, like with a ball in it. It gives you a little more hold. Like this has none, pretty much. But also this mesh helps. I think I don't know about you, Top. Don't you use this? I use Otter Mesh. I've had um two pieces. I've used them in my game sticks till about since about the winter. Um, uh, my game sticks. I use a Surgeon 10500 and a Stallion U. And um, I, I had Otter Mesh in I think an Evo 4X before um those heads came out. But Otter Mesh, in my opinion, just like you said, I, it does add a lot of hold. Um, because the mesh is so light and um, it's um, high tenacity, 
So the mesh, it um, it stretches a lot. So like say, so um, static hold when you're just going like that, the ball will um, roll out legally. But when you're actually in a game and you gotta throw your stick down for toe drag, and that mesh is gonna sit up higher and stretch a little bit. And also the soft bottom string helps a lot with that too. But um, with auto mesh, in my opinion, it is um, I use it in my game sticks because of the fact it adds more hold um, because of how that mesh stretches when you need it to. And it's also extremely light, and it makes heavier heads um, that I have to use since I play long pole. It makes um, it cuts down a little bit more weight. Um, say if I was to use traditional um, Gimelax hard mesh, it cuts down like more than half the weight. Yeah, I think that's true, it's especially that shooter on the bottom. It gives it, especially on a high pocket, I'll give it where it sits under that shooter, where when you do your toe drags or throw some fakes, it should sit under that shooter and give you a lot more hold, but still, when you come down, you can still have it where it doesn't whip to the ground. It still throws good. And I don't think this head, like, what was your shooter set up? A two straight and a nylon? Two straights and a nylon, um, called NCAA legal, um, but still, yeah, it's like you said, the eye of it, so the shooter um, is right above where the ball sits, so it's going to hug that shooter a little bit um, when you're going to shoot. I think this head is actually really good just with straights. Like, this is just my personal opinion. Like, I don't think, like, with a high, high pocket, like, because this is meant for a pretty good high pocket, I don't think you really need to use maybe a 3U, but a 3.U. But other than that, I think you can go. I personally just went with one straight and just, it actually throws pretty good. But I might change it to IKIS, the two straight and one nylon. But. It's this is one of my favorite heads I've actually had like and I think I'll keep this one for a while maybe actually use it for my gamer. Um, Kate, what, what position do you play? Oh, uh, I play truly I play about everything. I long stick midi deep D when the coach needs it, but my main position is attack and midi. Um. I actually just finished in the World Games and had to play goalie, but it turned out it was fun, and the World Games were really fun too, and just meeting the guys and everything. But at the what position? Your long stick? I um I play LSM and close defense. Um, I'm yeah. starting to transition more to um, LSM, but my game stick I have uh, the other ones downstairs. But here's uh, my Storygen 10500 unscrewed. And it has an extremely similar colorway that I did on the Hawk. Um, it just so happened those are my, my company colors, um, neon green and gray. But um, I came up with extremely similar pockets. Um, the one on the Hawk looks a little bit uh, more shallow because of the fact how funky the sidewall design is um, with a dual layer architecture. But um, my pocket on my Surgeon 10 is about a mid-high pocket um, with an amazing channel. Um, that, in my opinion, is the most important part um, when you're stringing ahead um, to get a tight channel. You don't. I can't use use because um, my high school plays by NCAA rules, um, so you can't have anything lower than four inches. But um, in my opinion, the Surgeon 10 does a lot of things right because of the fact of how wide the sidewall holes are. So I fit four through that one and five through that one um, because the holes are like just huge. The first few holes. Um, so this was extremely easy to string, um, so I could get um, an amazing pocket on it. And one thing that um, I wanted Epic to change about this before they, um, I don't know if they can change the mold whatsoever, but the top string holes, in my opinion, are a little bit small because yeah. if you can see that's one of the small sidewall holes. It's just like a circle, just big enough for a string. And then here's one of the um, larger ones. It, essentially, they took that same width. What happened to my video? Can you still see me? Yeah, you're good. Okay, okay, sorry. Um, but you took that, they just took that same um, height of that sidewall hole and just kind of made it wider. So when I was doing my reinforced um, triangle top string, it was a little bit hard to get all four strings um, through that hole. Like I had to um, finagle it a little bit over there. And it was um, definitely difficult um, compared to head with larger holes. And also on the sidewall. I didn't notice much um, change in diameter from the top few holes to the rest of them. 
And even though there is a plethora of string holes, um, exactly what, what the community requested, um, we like holes. We ha we like heads with a lot of sidewall holes. But um, I know Epic um, has their mesh manufactured by Stringking, and both Otter Mesh and Stringking Mesh are 17.5 millimeter, and um, that just means a slightly larger diamond size than compared to um, East Coast Mesh and Jim Lax based Mesh. Um, so when I was stringing this, I noticed that if you can see here. When I'm stringing a high pocket in this, I want to keep the mesh down here as tight as possible. But because of the um, spacing of the sidewall holes, um, I had either the opportunity to make it slightly a little bit looser than I like it, or make it way too um, way too um, tight. So if the placement of the hole, even though there's, there's a ton of them, was a little bit better, I think I could have gotten uh, even higher of a pocket on this head. Because um, if you can see here, I did the SI, try to lock the diamond down um, to keep it tight down here. And looser up here, but um, it the diamond's pretty loose right there, um, and it has space to move around, and as you can see now, the pocket can bag out lower, which I didn't want it to do, um, but so the main reason for that was because of um, how large diamond was, and also the spacing of the sidewall hole, but if I was stringing this exact same pocket with, say, um, any 15mm mesh, any general axe mesh, any stringer shack mesh, then I feel like it would... Um, come out a little bit better um, in terms of uh, where the pocket sits and the depth of it and um, how how deep it is in the lower part of the pocket. Okay. I, I guess he has technical issues. Um, but anyway, guys, um, we still have zero viewers, but I know this is going to be a YouTube video later. So uh, please leave in the comment section what you guys think of the Hawk. Um, in my opinion, I I personally wouldn't use it as a gamer um, because I like um, slightly wider heads. And um, uh, the stiffness of this is amazing. If you guys watch my Hawk review, <clears throat> where I talk about the Hawk in depth, it's extremely stiff going this way. I'm not going to notice much stiffness, um, much uh, flex um, when you're going straight on poke check. But when you have this and you go for a slap check, and it's from this angle or this angle, then the head flexes to the side a lot. Um, that has to do with its low flex point and um, how thin the throat is. You can see the plastic down here gets extremely thin um, compared to, again, the Surgeon 10 500. Uh, it has a bulky throat section. Um, but anyway, I think, um, like I said before, this is perfect for Epic's first head because they did everything we asked them to do. They put out a survey. They sent out their um, test models. They have a 383 crew with 382 crew, which I'm personally not a part of. I buy all my Arter Mesh, all my Hawks um, uh, with my own money. I don't get any, uh, sent anything for free. But um, I love what Epic's doing. I love their products. And I love that they listen to the community um, so much. Because we asked for everything they said. We asked for an NCAA legal head. We asked for a head with a narrow throat and then a high flare, high and aggressive flare. We asked for um, a head that would perfectly suit a mid-high pocket. We asked for a, a stiffer head. Um, and they just did everything correctly. Um, now that we see this, would I use this in a game? No, but um, in my opinion, this is one of um, the best sticks, the best heads out there if you want a game stick. Um, a game stick being a head you can pick up and be like, hey, this is reliable. I mean, strung the correct way, and it's easy to string this head. With um, they, they literally help you out by um, the sidewall placement, but this really does help you um, in your game because of how consistent it's going to be. It's one of the few heads, um, just the weighting of it, and the pocket placement is, um, I can pick it up, and I know that if I ever do play short stick, um, this is going to probably be up there with maybe the gate torque, maybe the warrior burn, as um, an extremely good head to use in, in, in games. Um, as a wall hanger, it, it looks nice because of the novelty of the fact it is made by Epic. Um, but this is one of the heads that I definitely could see um, a lot of people um, using as a loner stick. Um, to use in just like men's leagues. Will you see this on an NCAA um, 
Division One field next year? Most likely not. But if you're in, if you're youth or um, anywhere where the game is on the line, but you just want to go outside and play lacrosse, I would highly recommend this head because of how consistent it's going to be. It's one of those heads and one of those stringings that um, is going to be a paintbrush for you. Um, if you're good enough, if you practice enough, and then you look at the top right corner, and you're and you have this head and this string, and you're like, okay. I'm putting the ball in the top right corner. As long as you do everything good, then um, the head itself isn't holding you back. You're not going to be. You're not going to feel that um, extra whip. That you're not going to sky the ball. It's just going to be extremely reliable because of how the head is weighted and the weight distribution and that laid back profile. Um, in my opinion, other heads that have that same kind of um, um, performance, that same kind of weight, that same kind of feel in your hands, would be the gate torque. Um, the Evo Light and the Evo X. Uh, what else has that kind of feeling? Um, the Burn High School to some degree. And, uh, but yeah, the Hawk um, is just, in my opinion, definitely an amazing head for Epic's first head and a great start for them. Um, so I know this has been a fairly short live stream. Uh, I know Tate had to leave because of some technical difficulties. Um, but thanks um, for all of you who stuck around and watched this, and um, thank you for everyone watching this on YouTube um, when it's not live anymore. Uh, this is Lax Forever, guys. Please follow me on Instagram at L LAX4 EVR. Um, leave comments in, in the description just um, saying what you guys think of this head. Um, we'll start this live stream if you guys want to see more of these or if there's anything else you guys are looking for in particular. Uh, thanks, guys, and have a great day.